Hello students, how are you? I hope that you all are well. We are creating this digital content so that you all can continue your learning from your home. This video is sponsored by KPS Convent and its name is to educate a child for meaningful life. The Photograph I was 10 years old. It was late summer and my grandmother sat on a string bed in the garden under the mango tree. She was knitting a woolen scarf for the winter months. She was very old and her eyes were not very strong now, but her fingers moved quickly with the needles. She had white hair, but there were very few wrinkles on her skin. After returning home from playground, I took my meal and then I was rummaging through a box of old books and family heirlooms. There was nothing interesting in the box except for a book with colorful pictures of birds and butterflies. As I was going through the book, I found a small photograph between the pages. It was a faded picture, yellow and foggy. It was the picture of a girl standing against a wall and behind the wall there was sky. But from the other side, a pair of hands reached up as though someone was going to climb the wall. I ran out into the garden. Granny! I shouted. Look at this picture. I found it in the box of all things. Whose picture is it? I jumped on the bed beside my grandmother and she walloped me on the bottom and said, Now I've lost count of my stitches and the next time you do that, I'll make you finish the scarf yourself. She took the photograph from my hand. The girl had long, loose hair and she wore a dress that covered her ankles and there were a lot of bangles on her hands. She stood with her legs apart and her hands on her hips and had a wide, almost devilish smile on her face. Whose picture is it? I asked. A little girl's, of course, said grandmother. Can't you tell? Yes, but did you know the girl? Yes, I knew her. She said, I'll tell you about the photograph. It was taken in your grandfather's house about 60 years ago. And that's the garden wall. Whose hands are they? I asked. Coming up from the other side? Grandmother squinted and looked closely at the picture and shook her head. They must have been the sweeper boys. Or maybe they were your grandfather's. Didn't he climb the wall after the photo? I asked. No, nobody climbed up. You remember well, Granny. Yes, I remember. I remember what is not in the photograph. The cool breeze, the flowers and the bougainvillea creeper. And what about the girl? I said. Tell me about the girl. Well, she was a wicked girl, said Granny. You don't know the trouble they had getting her into those fine clothes she's wearing. I think they are terrible clothes, I said. So did she. Most of the time she hardly wore a thing. She used to go swimming in a muddy pool with a lot of ruffianly boys and ride on the backs of buffaloes. No boy ever teased her though because she could kick and scratch and pull his hair out. She looks like it too, I said. You can tell by the way she is smiling. At any moment, something's going to happen. Something did happen, said Granny. Her mother wouldn't let her take off the clothes afterwards, so she went swimming in them and lay for half an hour in the mud. I laughed heartily, and Grandmother laughed too. Who was the girl? I said. You must tell me who she was. No, that wouldn't do, said Grandmother. I pretended I didn't know. But I knew because Grandmother still smiled in the same way, even though she didn't have as many teeth. Come on, Granny, tell me, I said. But Grandmother shook her head and carried on with the knitting. And I held the photograph in my hand and tried to find points in common between the old lady and the little pigtailed girl. I wonder whose hands they were whispered Grandmother to herself with her head bowed and her needles clicking away in the soft summer afternoon. Thank you for watching and please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel so you get all the notifications.